Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Zagiti, aka Black Girl Scientist. A warm welcome to you if you are new here. If you're new here, don't forget to click that subscribe button so you can join the family. So today is the 1st of December, 2021. It is World AIDS Day. If you didn't know, now you know. So on this day, we commemorate those who have succumbed to the disease as in those who have AIDS and have died from getting infected with HIV as well as to raise awareness. I mean, this is very much still a big problem, you know, just shy of 38 million worldwide are infected with HIV. So it's still a very, very big problem um, on the globe and especially in our country, um, that is South Africa. So in it being world aids day today i am doing a self hiv uh test so that's hiv testing at home i have done a previous video on that um hiv testing so if you haven't checked that one out please do but today i'm going to be focusing on particularly using the bioshore so from my last video i actually got contacted by someone from bioshore and they sent me these tests they actually sent me i think i had about seven but i have given um the rest away to family members to friends just to show how absolutely easy it is to use this test so unlike my previous video today i'm going to be focusing particularly on bioshore why it's the easiest test to do and why it's actually south africa's number one at home hiv testing kit so let's get straight into that First off, if you've ever bought an HIV testing kit, a kit at home, you'd get this at the pharmacy or at a drugstore and it usually retails, I think from the first time I've ever seen these tests from about 30 to 50 bucks and this Bioshore test is about 200 Rand. But I'll get into why this 200 Rand is worth getting those other tests, okay? So first, let's see and read what this Bioshore is promising us as a test, uh, an HIV home test kit. So it says South Africa's only HIV home test kit for non-professional use. So that's the first thing I wanted to highlight is the non-professional use. As you can see, it says there, for non-professional use. So if you've seen other HIV at home test kits, if you've done one at a clinic, maybe for your um, medical aid, or just if you were doing one in the past, you may have seen ones that look um, really small and rectangular and they're white. Those actually are professional for, for, for professional use. So they're actually supposed to be administered by a healthcare professional. So because all these things are not very well regulated, in our country um, you can actually buy those tests even though they say for professional use so those are tests that have been sold in the past so those are tests that are actually supposed to be administered by professionals with Bioshore this is a home HIV test for non-professional use so it's for use for people like you and I okay so, okay, the, so world's the world's easiest HIV test no questions no labs no waiting so i think it's really important also during the time of covid you know we don't go out for a lot of things you know we avoid crowded spaces we avoid you know generally going to the hospital unless you are sick or to the clinic as well so i think it's a very 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 important time for hiv at home tests ones that are reliable and accurate so also what the test says is Bioshow HIV self-test is very simple to perform, requires just a tiny drop of blood. So in this, you can it actually requires, I think, three to five microliters of blood, which is tiny. And when I was actually speaking to the rep from the company, she said you can actually do it with as little as one microliter of blood. So it's a tiny, tiny drop of blood. You don't have to worry if when you prick yourself, not a lot of blood comes out. So you can test wherever, whenever, wherever's convenient for you. Um, get your easy, um, get your easy to read results in just 15 minutes. So it's a single test. It's private, conf confidential, and vo voluntary. And of course, as a reminder, HIV is treatable. And once you know your status with correct and early treatment, you can protect your own and your partner's health. 
so you take you can test from four weeks after possible exposure but if your test result is negative you should use caution again and test in 12 weeks so this is because our test looks for antibodies to hiv and each person makes these at different times and the and if you don't know much about that please watch my hiv video where i explain the whole antibodies in the window period and stuff like that so the Bioshock test was the first approved CE mark product that is inbuilt sample control line so you can be confident of your results. So that's what I also really love about the test is that it is literally foolproof. Like you won't get a false negative, you won't get a false positive, um, obviously depending on, you know, whether you test four weeks after possible exposure, uh, about four to 12 weeks after possible exposure. And this is because the test is that accurate. So when I was speaking to the rep again, she told me that if you actually run just buffer on this test, you will not get a false negative as you will get like in the other in other tests. You will get that, you know, the test did not work, um, which you'll also see when we actually open up the test. So back to um, World AIDS Day. So today in today it being the first of the first of december 2021 each year there is a theme for world aids day and this year's theme is end aids end inequalities and end pandemics which i think is so important of course because we are still living through the covid 19 pandemic i think we're going to have our two-year anniversary from lockdown our first lockdown in south africa so we're clearly still living in a uh, in a pandemic and this theme the theme for this year is to end aids end inequalities which are very much still alive um in hiv aids you know as well as stigmas inequalities to populations that have access to treatment and things like that and of course end pandemics in the context of covid19 so those for those of you who didn't know the actual um red aids symbol is um a symbol of aids so that ribbon is 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 a symbol of aids and commemorating um aids world aids day and all those people that have lost their lives so here is the actual test it says to open tear here so you just tear along that perforated um paper there just to open it up easily like that and the first part is the part that i just read out earlier on in the video and you can just put that to the side and then the box is also in a plastic sleeve as you can see so in order to open it you just tear along the gold um, line and it opens up quite easily so you just pop that open and remove the plastic covering to reveal another box which has a sleeve inside so you just push that out and that comes out nicely and now you can see you have this leaflet which actually has a step-by-step -step as well as illustrations of how you actually perform the test then there's this other insert which is the actual test contents um, which you just tear open by um, tearing along the line and you will have everything you need in order to perform the test so this pink thing is a little latch um, that you use to prick yourself so that blood comes out And then these are the contents of that little white insert which we tore open the hole is where you put the buffer pot so you may put your test inside there you remove it and then you place it inside that hole so that your test stands nicely upright for when it is ready to run so as i said there are five steps which are shown as well as illustrations and so you make sure the tip of your finger is clean use the latch to prick yourself so that blood comes out you can let the first bit of blood run out um, and then wipe it but this step is not necessary so just squeeze your finger so that blood comes out and i'm just wiping the first bit of blood that came out uh, like i said this step is not compulsory and then you squeeze again to get a drop of blood then you use the test you'll see the test will use a suction motion so you just suck up the blood as you bring it um, to your droplet of blood 
and it just sucks it up nicely like that so it sucks it up nicely like that and then you use the actual test to pierce the buffer and you place your test in there um, then I'm just wiping off the excess blood and I am going to apply the plaster because I actually was still bleeding um, after I had taken up my little drop of blood so as you can see now the test is standing upright in the buffer you should see it begin to run like this where you see the blood running up the test if it doesn't begin to run just lift the the test slightly um off the pot and you'll see it run so i have now taken the test as you can see so usually wait about 15 minutes it usually is actually quicker than 15 minutes and then you'll be able to see your result so like i said with bioshore it is literally the only hiv home test that's been ce marked approved for non-professional use for use at home it is literally the easiest test the most accurate test and it was really worth the money um you won't have to keep spending money getting tested over and over again because it is that accurate and i also did highlight the importance of actually knowing your status you know like i said it's world aids day and actually about 20 percent of people that are actually infected with hiv actually do not know their status so hiv testing is really really important it's important to know your status and as i mentioned when i was reading the test hiv is a treatable disease um people that take their treatment have very low viral loads even below the limit of detection and then thus they won't be able to transmit to other people um and then they can also protect their partners and partners who are serodiscordant couples so who have if you're hiv positive and your partner's negative your partner can also be on prep as well so hiv is a very treatable disease um people live a normal life with hiv so it's really really important to know your status absolutely know your status like i cannot stress that enough it's really important to know your status so now let's check out the results and how really really easy it is to read them so in order to read your results you remove your test and the buffer pot from the hole that it was standing in and there's a place where you can place the test in and it clicks in there nicely so that it aligns for you to interpret the results so as you can see uh, you put your test in there and then you see where there's one line two lines boom test done so yeah and that's it simple easy accurate reliable Bioshore South Africa's number one HIV at home test. So if you haven't been tested and you have you think you've been exposed or you just don't know your status or you just want to go check or you just want to try the Bioshore test because it's so simple and so easy, go ahead and buy it. It's available at Clicks and Discam in South Africa and it retails for 200 bucks. It's 199 Rand, which is 200 bucks. So go do it get it know your status encourage others to go test as well testing really should be normal if you're going to go to a clinic you shouldn't feel any kind of stigma attached that you're going to get tested go get tested with your partner you know let's just all test it's better to know your status than to not and i wish you a very happy and safe festive season i'm going to be giving you other content during the festive season some really really exciting content so stay tuned and that brings me to the end of this video if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up and if you're not already subscribed to my channel please go ahead and click that subscribe button and i'll see you on the next video bye